Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be introducing an AI powered editing software for you called Meitu Youngshu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. So it is actually an AI powered photo retouching platform that's transforming our professional and business edits and and delivers 20 pictures on a larger scale. So what is this software all about? Meitu is a class based intelligent retouching and editing platform built by Meitu. The same company behind famous Meitu app, they have, they have so many other apps, but this is actually one of the apps for photographers. Here's the before of a picture and here is the after result of a particular picture. I'll be walking you through some of the features and actually what it actually does. So using AI Big Data, Meitu can process thousands of photos automatically, saving you time and cost while keeping a professional standard. And you can just get started with just 19 US dollars. So first thing you need to do is to do it. Go to the software. I'm still going to talk about how to do the download later on in this particular video. So here's is how the interface looks like. The first thing I just need to do is to do it. Create a new document or import a new document. I just do it, click on import images. I wait for it to load. I can import a single image, I can, I can do it. I can import a complete folder. So I'll go to where my words, I'll go to where my picture is and I'm going to bring it straight into my app. Let me click on the folder and I'm going to open the folder up. What I just need to do is for me to wait for all the pictures to load in my software. And boom, just like magic, it's actually open. So here is the interface. For a first time user, all you just need to do is to use the link down in my description to do what? To sign up. Once you do that, you're going to be getting five credits for you to try the software out. So, as you can see, here is the interface of the software. Trust me, with little or no effort, though you are not a professional retoucher or you don't even know how to edit pictures, this is going to help you in terms of picture editing. So, you can retouch your picture here, you can do what? You can also color grade your pictures here. So I'm doing most things here, but I'll be showing you how it works. So the first thing I'll be talking about is the what? Is the color adjustment panel, which is over here. So we have the color adjustment panel, which is over here. We have the facial and skin retouching, which is here. We have the background cleaning, which is here. And we have the outfit cleaning, which is here. This final one is for cropping. So I'll be walking you through it one after the other. So the first thing we need to do is to come to this color adjustment panel over here. As you can see, you can try to use filters. These are filters. As you can see, the moment I click on it, it's going to do what? It's going to change the color of my images automatically. And you can do what? You can go for a what? More manual one. So click on the white balance. You do what? You adjust the white balance. You adjust the tint. And you're going to do what? Work on colors as you want. And you can do what? Do your basic adjustment setting over here also. Your skin tone. As you can see, your exposure. Your pictures under exposed were exposed. Your what's your contrast, your highlights. You can work with all those streets easily. Beauty about it is that I just need to edit this one picture, and I'll do it. I'll copy the settings of this, and I'm going to paste it on this particular picture because they are the same picture, and I'm going to work with the same intensity of whatever I want to work with, with just a single click. Can you see this is actually a great feature? So we have the word HSL adjustment. If you've been following my video so far, you will know how much I value this panel over here. This is what I use for mostly my color grading, both indoor and outdoor pictures. So this is actually going to help you a lot. So the next one we'll be talking about is the panel of the face retouching. This is where I want to come the most because this is where I'm having issue with. Doing manual retouching takes time. This is going to help you cut down that time and it's going to give you professional retouching also. So. I will use this particular picture because it has a lot of things I need to work on, or this. So if I'm to zoom in on this picture right now, you will see there are a lot of blemishes. Check it out. She has a lot of blemishes on her face. What if I tell you I can do it? I can remove all these blemishes with just a single click. What I just need to do is to do it. Turn on the wrinkle and ask on the face. And just wait for it to load up. And boom automatically look at what it did for us here is the before here is the after before and after i don't know if you can see the details very well for you to see the details all you just need to do is to hold down your spacebar and it's going to show you the before and if you leave it it's going to show you the after the next one is what 
if you have any one on your body you can do it click on this one also again and it's going to remove any blemishes you have on the body the next one we have for baby blemishes if they are if you have a baby picture and there are blemishes on it all you just need to do is to turn off the slider also again and it's going to remove that for you but since there's no baby automatically it detects that there's no baby in the picture because this is actually an ai software so it should be able to recognize faces ages and so on so as you can see it's actually it's not giving me option to do what to remove this but assuming there's a baby in the picture all i just need to do is to slide on these baby blemishes and it's going to remove that for me easily the next thing we're talking about is the body blemishes if there's any blemishes on the body just click on this slider and it's going to do like magic is going to remove that automatically so the next one is forehead wrinkles we have dark circles if you have pictures like that okay i think i should have this i have dark circle in my picture right now all i just need to do is to do it come to what dark circle 100 percent can you see it's no longer there here's the before of the picture and here is the after in just three or four sliders right now so you there's a picture you have and they have double chin just come straight to the double chin and do it turn on the slider and it's going to remove that for you as you can see before and after scroll down also if you have neck wrinkle and also these breasts assuming the she's wearing a revealing outfit and it's actually not showing me the way it's supposed to show me i can work with this and i'm going to clean them all these are just sliders you don't have to be a retoucher or a professional editor to be able to use this software it's actually very very easy to use all you just need to do is to know what is what okay this is blemishes just need a basic english settings that's all you need then you're good to go right so the next thing you need to do is to do it close the removing blemishes panel and do what open skin on that skin right now this is what i use mostly the first thing i need to come to the face frequency separation and i'm going to do what i'm going to turn it to 100 percent and boom here's the before of my picture here's the after of my picture do you know the beauty about this particular software is Whatever I do is going to retain my skin texture. It's not going to do what overdo it for me and delete any skin texture for me. And probably you not know, like the amount of skin texture you have in your picture. Just come to the eye, frequency measure, frequency separation enhancement, and increase it. It's going to add more texture to your picture and it's going to be realistic texture. Can you see right now? Now I've retouched my face. Right? If I want to do the body also again, all I have to come to is frequency separation for body. Then I'll do what? I'll turn it up also again and it's going to do what? Retouch my body for me. Easy peasy. Next thing I'll just do is what? Natural gray leveling. How come what? This is just like dodge and burn. Turn it to 100%. But it doesn't have to be 100% for you. You can be using 50, you can be using 70. I'll do the same thing for contour. Contour is just like dodge and burn for the picture. As you can see. So you can be using 50, you can be using 40. I just love using 100% to show you the intensity of what, how far it can go. Can you see before of my hand? Can you see the after? I was able to return this picture in no time. So the next thing, I'll just scroll down towards skin texture for face. Probably you know about you know skin texture. You can use this slider to turn off the screen texture. Next one is the AI retouch face. Automatically, it's going to retouch your face for you. But this has no manner control. That's why I don't usually use this. So the next one, here is some of my favorite one, is the brightness of the skin tone. Probably you want to work on just the skin color alone, the skin tone, not the entire picture. I'll do it, come to the brightness, probably the skin is not bright enough for me, as you can see, it's too much. But these are when I have underexposed picture, here is where I come. And I don't want to touch the background, I don't want to touch the skin, so here is where I come. So the next one we have is what? Whitening. Can you see what it actually does? Just keep messing with the sliders till you get what you need perfectly. So the next one we will have is what? Skin tone balance. So assuming the color of our skin is not what is not unanimous, this slider is going to do what? It's going to work for that. But this first slider is for the face. Once you turn off it, turn this on right now, automatically it's going to affect just the face alone. But if you have to turn on the body, it's also going to affect the body, skin tone alone. It's not going to affect the both together. I don't know if you get me. So the next one here's one of my favorite is selecting skin tone for my subjects. This is actually one of my greatest issues of all time for quite a while now. But look at this right now. Look at this. The moment I click on it, automatically it's going to select a nice skin tone for me. 
he has about four skin tone which I can choose from. All these are white skin tone. Why this work for dark? As you can see right now. And if the color is not enough, just come out to the intensity. Drag it up, and if it's too much, we we'll reduce it. And boom. This is just the basic aspect of it. There are tons of things you can do here. So let me close up the skin right now. And I'll be working with wood. You can try out this problem yourself. There are so many things you can do here. Here is the face. Probably you want to do what? You want to change the facial structure. You want to change it to V-shape. As you can see. Can you see? I don't know if you are checking it. Here is the before my picture. Here is the after. Can you see? V-face. Oh, okay. I don't want V-face. I want the other way around. Can you see? I want to be here. This is actually good for modeling edits. We have the temples. We have the cheekbone. We have the jawline. We have the width. We have the chin height. You can just do what? Go around and mess with this and see if it's what you like. Not just the shape alone. You can use 3D resolution and you can do what? Eyebrows, eyes, nose and mouth. So these are all the things you can edit with. What should I call it? With made too. The beauty about it is that as me, I have a picture like this, I have about 10 of them. All I just need to do is edit just one of the picture. I don't need to edit everything. Just one of the pictures for me is enough. All I just need to do after I'm done with that. Okay, let's say I'm done with this right now. All I just need to do is click on my copy. As you can see right now. Click on C. So you're going to give me, okay, what do I want to select out of everything? I did what? I did color grading, right? I went to color grading panel. So do I want to apply the filter? Do I want to apply the white balance? Anyway, I don't want to apply on the next picture. All I just need to do is to... Turn that off, turn that off. Okay, now in my retouching, do I want to remove blemishes? Do I want to work on skin? Do I... So it's going to give you where to select from and where not to select from. Okay, now I want to select everything I did for the first picture. All I just need to do is do is to what? Click on confirm. Then I'll go to the next picture, which is this. And I'll do what? I just have to wait and control V on it. All I just need to do is just to wait for it. And boom. Can you see? On before and after, before and after. I just did what? Edited one of the picture. As me, I have about 100 of these pictures also. All I just need to do is do what? Just control view on everything. And it's going to apply the settings on everything. So wedding photographers, event photographers, I think this is one of the best software for you. And also portrait photographers. Portraits to be precise. Photographers, this is one of the best software for you. That being said right now, I'll talk about some other features before I show you how to download and install this particular software. So the next one I will talk about is the what? Is the makeup panel. You can try this out to save the teeth eye whitening, the eye whitening, the hair color. If you want to straighten the hair, you want to actually straighten wig, you want to actually blend wig perfectly. This is also the software for you. Next one I'll be talking about is what? Is the makeup panel. This is what I love the most. We have the eyebrow enhancement. Do you know the beauty about it is that it's actually hyper realistic. So we have the eyebrow panel, we have the what? Makeup enhancement panel, we have the shadows, we have the highlight. These are for makeup artists if you know what you're doing. So we have the brush enlightenment and we have what? So many makeup. This is actually an, an automated makeup kit. If I'm to click on this right now, automatically it's going to change the entire configuration of the picture for me. Both the highlight, the mid-tone, the touch and everything. Here's the before my picture, here's the after. Let me zoom in very well. So I don't want to change everything. I click on none. So now you can work on eyebrows, change different eyebrows in the picture, as you can see. Just change it. You see fit. And it's going to be changing in real time. It's going to be changing in real time. As you can see right now. Next thing you can do is the eyeshadow also. You can change the eyeshadow. If you want. So this is going to transform your picture in a more beautiful and advanced way. Same thing with the contour also. But this is my favorite. Is the makeup. This is what? The lip gloss. As you can see. It's going to apply on just the lip area alone. This is actually a very, very great feature. You guys can also try it out and give me a feedback on it. So I'm going to close this up right now. Next one is the body refinement. If you want to reshape body, as you can see, you can use any model body as a preset or you can do it manually yourself. Just look for a picture and try this out yourself and give me a feedback. So close the body up right now. We're done. So, the next feature I'll be talking about is what? Is the background cleaning. I can decide to do what? Use a white solid background for this picture. Once I click on it, automatically it's going to do what? Apply that for me. Easy as that. If I need a blue background, as you can see, these are mostly for product images. 
if you are shooting for product, look at the red. But I don't want that. I will just do what? Click on the none. This is one of my favorite options if I'm shooting outdoor. Sky replacements. So automatically, as I mean, there's a sky in this picture. It's going to detect, yeah, this picture is shot outside. There's a sky there, and we're going to do what? Add that sky for you. But for this particular picture, there is no sky. Automatically, it should have detected that. So next thing we talked about right now is to what? Come straight to the clothes panel. This is to do what? Remove wrinkle for clothes. Just one slider. Wait for it to load up. Automatically, it's going to do that for you. Look at the before of the clothes. Look at the after. Before and after. Look at how it ironed our clothes for us. It's just a single click. They know these are actually one of the issues we are facing in real time. And they look for a way to actually help us out with that. Very, very easy and straightforward. Next time we talk about is what? Is the crop tool. Come to the crop tool right now. And you can select whatever size you want. The size I love using the most is my 4x5 into bracket 8x10. So, I'm going to open it up and look for it. Here is it. I'll click on it and boom, here's my size. All I just need to do is to adjust to where I want it to be. And I'm going to do what? I'll click on my confirm. Very, very easy and straightforward. As you can see, this is actually a great software so far. So now let me place this particular settings on this, my last picture here. All I just need to do is to come here. I control C on it. And I'm going to do what? Is there any option for cropping here? I don't think there's any option for cropping. Okay, there's no option selected for cropping. All I have to do is to click on confirm. Or I can just create a new preset for it. Create a new preset and I'll name it what? Uh, first prior. Trial. So what the preset is meant for is to do what? Whenever I want to use this particular settings again, in my in the nearest future, all I just need to do is to do what? Open my pictures and I would in my 2 AI and do what? Open my preset and apply it on whatever picture I want to apply it to. So let's come to this particular picture over here and I'll do what? I'll control V on it. Or I'll just go to my presets. Wait for it to load up. And boom. Here's the before of my picture. Here's the after, before and after, before and after. It also works on our what? On our change for us. Double chain. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Easy as that. You also did the color grading for us. Very, very simple and straightforward. So, let me show you how to do the installation and also the pricing. Let's go straight to the pricing first. First thing you need to do for the pricing is to head over to your browser and go to the official website, made to AI. Right? Come straight to the pricing over here and click on it. Wait for the interface to load up and boom. As you can see, the first plan is what? It's import $0.80. For the first basic plan, you're going to do what? Be able to edit 300 images for edit and export 300 images using $18.80. And if you are to use my coupon code, you're going to remove some money from you. So you won't have to pay up to $18.80 to be able to edit 300 images. The next option there is $24.80. As you can see, it's very, very affordable. The next one is what? $98.80. Right, the last one. Second to the last one is. Eight one hundred and eighty-eight US dollar, but you can start with any packages. No matter the packages you buy, you are going to get the same features for everything. So you can just go ahead and try that out right now, using the coupon code down in my bio to get discounts on whatever you make payment for. And for the download, it's very very easy and straightforward. Just come straight down to the download over here. Come straight to the download panel over here, and wait for it to load up. We have two options for this. We have for the window version and we have for the Mac OS. I just need to do this to do what? Click on download. And boom, you are good to go. You'll be able to download the software onto your PC as easy as that. So, my tool is more than just a photo editor. It's a partner in creative productivity. Whether you're a photographer, a studio, or an e commerce brand, you will save, save time, reduce costs, and wow your clients with a professional, consistent result. Get started today. Go to www.year2.may2.com or download the mobile app because they also have a mobile app. So just download the mobile app and experience the future of intelligent photo retouching. So see you guys in my next video tutorial. Reflex out.